awful. Is that right on the pad? Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, no, the turtle tank story is pretty embarrassing. But in the chat the other day, you guys were talking about coming. You were like, oh my god, I came so many times today. And then after I told you that that is very inappropriate and that there are girls present and that you shouldn't, you should be gentlemanly and other stuff that dev was never said. Um, uh, no, there was, uh, whenever I had a girlfriend back in, um, high school, um, we used to fuck a lot, that is true, and this one time, uh, we were in the house, and this was after, uh, I told you, we played volleyball a lot, and we had came back from volleyball, so, like, we showered up and everything, and we decided, well, that was a great volleyball game, it's time for a fuck fest, pretty much, that's okay, Hunaba guy, I'll see you in heaven. So, what ended up happening was we banged 11 times in, like, four hours, which is a lot, at least for me. I don't know. I honestly don't know what the average is for people, okay? A little out of touch with the whole relationship thing now. But anyways, <laughs> uh, we banged, like, 11 times in one day. And at the 11th time, I had a huge turtle tank at the time with uh, 12 turtles in it that my mom bought for me because she was drunk. And she wanted an excuse to visit the house, even though there's a restraining order against her. Now we're getting too real. Oh! Okay, I did jump on that. Anyways, so I had all these little turtles, this huge-ass tank that my dad bought for me to house these, these turtles. And, um, so, uh, like I said, we'd already banged ten times. And I was just like, I was just sitting here like, oh man, I was like, what a great fucking day. <laughs> okay? And so I called her into the room again. I was like, hey! I was like, come in here. And she was like, are you serious? I was like, yeah, let's do this again, right? That's not what happened, but, you know, that, that was the implication of, hey, get in here. But, um, so she came in, and uh, we're getting ready for our 11th time, and we do it. And I'm doing our doggy style, right? And right at the moment of, uh, okay, this is getting kind of graphic. I'm trying to do this, like, as non-graphic as possible, but I guess it kind of just has to be. But, um, at the moment, at the squirt of the 11th time, I just completely felt my legs give out. Like, I was done, right? So I'm just like, whew, right? <laughs> so I step off my bed, and the, uh, the top of my turtle tank is off on the ground. So I step off my bed, and I just go, whew, right? And my knees just buckle right out from underneath me, and I fell. I fell right forward, almost did a somersault, right into my wall. I almost blacked out. It's really embarrassing, because she was right there. And uh, my turtle tank was, of course, the top of it was made of glass, and it was just sitting right on the floor. And I just landed head first right onto it. And I landed, uh, I smashed my hand onto it, and a bunch of glass got stuck in my hand because of it. So that happened. It was just, I literally stepped off bed and just went, Ooh! and went Psh! right into this glass. <laughs> like a fucking, I don't know, it looked like something out of like some, some shitty American pie like comedy scene. Except it wasn't funny for her. She was horrified because I was bleeding like crazy. My whole hand was cut open, and I'm laying against the wall with blood all over the carpet, naked with my dick out. <laughs> And I was just going, oh, just laughing. And she's like, oh, my God. She's like, are you okay? And I'm just going, oh, my God, man. I just couldn't feel my legs. Right? And um, the actual worst part of the story, though, is the fact that that happened. And, of course, I bled all over the place. And uh, I had this crap in my hand. There's a chunk of glass in my hand, though. So I took it out. I took the chunk of glass out. And then um, I also was working at the time. Oh, my God. Whoa! Shit. I also was working as a detailer at the time, right? So I come into my detail shop where you have to use your hands. I come into the shop and I have my hand all wrapped up and everything and like bandages and, and stuff and ointment. And my hand just really hurts for like the whole time that I'm there, of course. And I'm just like, whatever, my hand just hurts. I go to work two days in a row, okay, with this hurt ass hand. And I'm just like, man, my whole hand is starting to get bruised as well. And, uh, oh, and, uh, anyways, the, uh, the scar that's on my hand is actually in the shape of a Nike check. So it's kind of funny, because it's like, uh, I just did it. <laughs> anyways, um, uh, what was I saying, though? Oh, yeah, my hand starts getting really bruised while I'm at work, and everyone's just like, man, is your hand okay? And I was like, yeah, and of course I told them the story, and they're just like, and, uh, oh, actually, I remember then, a lot of them, a lot of my coworkers were older than me, and they were like, that's bullshit, man. They were like, you didn't fuck 11 times in one day. And I remember at the time being like, is that a lot? <laughs> they were like, shut up, man. It's re real salty about that, I guess. But, um, so of course I told them the story and everything. And they're just like, man, your hand is all messed up. And I'm like, yeah, I guess I just heard it. 
Turns out, two whole days I was there working at work, cleaning cars and everything, my hand just hurting so bad, the pain was so bad, and I'm just sitting there like cleaning cars and wiping windows and everything and getting into it. And uh, I finally go to the bathroom to put more ointment on it, and I see something glinting inside my hand where the cut is, and I'm like, oh, are you kidding me? And I look at it, and there was a huge piece of glass that had been in my hand for two whole days that I had wrapped up. And my skin was trying to close around it, and that is why it was actually, uh, that is why my hand was, like, all brown and shit. It was because of that. <laughs> so, lots of embarrassing stuff going on there at once. But that's the story. That is the... That's how I got my Nike check on my hand. It's actually pretty nice, though. Yeah, no, it was fucked up, man. Like, and, uh... They, had, they have a little... At this detailer shop that I was at, they had a little uh, first aid kit there. I don't, I don't know why. In case someone gets ran over or something, it's a fucking detail shop. So they take out... Uh, my boss at the time was there. He took out the first aid kit, and he, he gives it to me. And there's, like, a bunch of bandages and shit in it that's never been used, and there's tweezers. And he's like, here, 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 take it out with this. And I started taking it out in my boss's office, and the other guys were in there as well. And all of them collectively just went, ah, because I was digging in the hole in my hand. And I was like, what? And they were like, go to the fucking bathroom, man. And I was like, okay. <laughs> And, uh, I went to the bathroom, I took it out, and it was like, pfft, it's all yucky and pussy. I was a dumbass. Still a dumbass. Oh. Please give me a gem. Oh, look at that. 